Today's home workout is a low impact workout. Now this, I've put together 10 of what I think are some of the best low impact cardio moves. Because the benefit with these, they're also full body, so they're gonna get you the best results without having to jump up and down. I mean, it's win-win, isn't it? We're gonna do them all standing, it is apartment friendly, and we'll do it as a 10 minute low impact workout. So what we are gonna do, we're just gonna quickly start with a little bit of mobility and a quick warm up. So let's get going. So just follow along, and the first move that we're gonna do is just simply doing these little side steps. We're just gonna go for doing 10 of these, and this is just to gently increase your core body temperature and also mobilize the joints. And if you don't want me talking, then you can simply hit the mute button. So now we're gonna go for doing 10 of these hamstring curls, and these are just bending through the knees. Just pull down with the arms now, just give me 10 of these reaches across, just reach across from one side to the other, just so we're loosening up your whole body, getting it ready for the workout ahead, and well done. So we're now gonna get into the workout. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna quickly preview the first move, so just have a look. This is the first move that we're gonna be focusing on doing. So if you just get ready, we're gonna come into position. So step that foot behind, knee in front is bent, and now drive that knee up, just keep going, same leg. And what I've done here, I've just highlighted on this chart, you can just see all the different areas and muscles that you're working. So just keep driving that knee up, focus on keeping those core tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight. So the timer bar on the left, that represents approximately 45 seconds, just change legs for me now. And then you can see there, you've got your countdown 10 minute clock and just keep going. So this one here is a really lovely full body move and a really focus on drawing those tummy muscles in nice and tight. That also really helps with your stability, power through with those arms, just keeping that going. All right, well done. So what we were gonna do now, you just marched out, get your breath back, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and then you can see the next move coming up. So we're gonna do a lateral side step and an arm swing. So we're gonna get ready. Again, we're gonna do this for 45 seconds. So just swing the arm in front and just side step. So now you can see here how this is a full body move, all the different areas, muscles that you are working. And these are just some major muscles. You're also working lots of other smaller muscle groups. So make it a big dynamic step. And again, that represents 45 seconds on the left. We're going from side to side. We've got no repeaters, so this workout is gonna fly by. Just keep going. And this is a low impact, but high intensity. That's good. And traveling that backwards from one side to the other, arm up and then down, keeping that going. All right, that's good. So again, just march out, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and then we'll have a little look at the next move. So this one here, we're gonna be working through your waist. You're gonna stand in a sort of split stance and you're gonna draw the knee across and draw your arms across at the same time. So with this, make sure that supporting leg is slightly bent. And where I've done the crisscross through the abdominals on the top there, top left, what that's representing is I'm really now working into your internal and external obliques. All right, that's good. Draw that across so that knee comes up as the arms come over. Really lovely one to really condition your core. Take that now to the opposite leg. And if you find the coordination hard, just start with doing the leg and then add in those arms. That's good. Keeping that going all the way to the arrow reaches the top. Again, another full body move that's low impact, but still high intensity. If something's low impact, doesn't mean it's easy, it's still challenging, just means we're not just, means we're not doing the jumping. Right, next move coming up now, we've got a really lovely one. It's just a side step and a side punch. So really nice, full body move again. So just punch it across. And again with this, you can do it as fast or as slow as you want. And you can see here, we're still working through those core muscles. And just keep alternating from side to side. Doing really well. And definitely come and find me on social media. Let me know how you're getting on. And on Instagram, I always post up lots of daily tips, motivation, quotes. 
All right, that's good. Keeping that going. Nice, powerful move. And just think what you're doing right now. Again, you're working full body, but we're focusing on taking control of your physical and mental health. That's it. All the way to have reached your top on there. Brilliant. Okay, so bring that back for me now. Just to that nice, gentle march. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's have a look at the next move. So for this one, we're going to do a slight little squat and then two power kicks. Now, if you don't like doing the squats, take out the squat. Just go for doing double power kicks. So kick it one, two, little squat for me. And now kick it one and two. And again there, you can see the muscles that you're working, which makes this another really good full body move. And you might think, well, how are you working the abdominals? Well, actually, what we're doing here... As you do that double kick, what we're doing is we're engaging that transverse abdominus, that's that deepest core muscle. So we're really working on your core stability. So that's how we're activating those abs. All right, that's good. Keep that nice and controlled. And definitely if you're on Facebook, come and find us, Lucy's Squad. We've got a really lovely community on there. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. Doing really well. And you can see there we are nearly, whoops, nearly over halfway. Plus that is great to work on your balance, which I clearly need to work on. Right, next move, we are gonna be doing four power punches. And then from there, we're gonna be doing four of these knee bends, which are hamstring curls. So let's get ready into position and give me those four power punches. Now knee bend, knee bend, knee bend. That's good. And again, you can see here how many different muscle groups we're working. So let's just keep going. And if you are looking for a healthier lifestyle, I've got so many free recipes on my blog page. I will leave a link because remember when we're getting healthy and fit, nutrition is really key. We want to focus on that. So let's just keep going and really just put power in those punches. And this is how you can see how low impact, but if it's high intensity, high intensity it's still a really super effective workout. All right, that's good. All the way to the top. All right, perfect. Just march it out for me. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's have a look at the next move. So this one is a dynamic step and then you're just gonna reach down with your arm. Reach that across and let's step that out wide. So you can just see here all the muscles we're gonna have a look at in a minute, just all the different areas of that we're working reaching it across. And so these moves, I refer to them also as a multi-compound moves. So this is where in shorter workouts, we can get amazing results because we're engaging so many different muscle groups. All right, that's good. Make that as dynamic as you can and keep focusing. Just in these 10 minutes, what we're doing is we're investing in your future health. And as I always say, exercise is less about how we look, but more about how we feel. That's good. And we're just looking after our bone health, our heart health, our joint health, our mental health, our cardiovascular health. All right. Let's just march out. Doing really well. Just got three moves coming up. Let's have a look at the next one. This one we're doing is a lovely curtsy. Now, if you have issues with the knees, you could just stick with doing a march on the spot if you find this one uncomfortable. But arms up and just do like that little curtsy. So this one here, working a little bit more also through your inner and outer thighs with this as you step that foot behind. Nice and dynamic. Focus on keeping that upper body nice and straight for me. And always work through your fullest range of motion. Draw the arms all the way down and then back up. And again here, you're going to be working naturally your core because we're keeping that upper body nice and straight. And the other thing that I have, I have so many free challenges. These are just instant downloads. I don't need your email. There's no subscription. They're completely free. You can find them on my free challenges. I think I've got over about 30 free monthly challenges. So I'm keep you going and fit for years and years. All right, that's good. Let's just march out. Next move coming up is fun one. We're going to do two side steps and then come up onto a calf raise. All right, that's good. And we'll just get ready. So we're going to get ready to take that two steps to the side and now reach up nice and high. Two steps to the side and nice and high. So you can see here, again, this is working a little bit more through the abductors and adductors, so the inner and outer thigh muscles. Plus, we're still working the shoulders and the arms as you extend them up. That's good. Reach up and then back. That's good. 
And as a qualified trainer, I've been teaching for nearly 30 years. My mission has always been to educate you while you're getting fit so you understand how your body is working. And exercise is simply just about moving. It's about doing the exercises you enjoy. Reach up and across, that's good. And last one. All right, well done. And let's just now march it out. Keep marching on the spot, doing really well. So last move we're gonna be doing is working perhaps a few less muscles, but this is a really good one to work on your balance, your flexibility. So this one just really works through your abs and your outer and inner thighs. Just alternate from one side to the other, but it's also equally a really lovely low impact move. And we're just finishing off on this one. So this one now we're targeting through your gluteus maximus, we're working the abductors, adductors, plus we're working those core muscles. So let's just keep going right to the end. And because this is low impact, it's safe to do, so it's gonna be safe on your joints. We're using body weights, so we're still strengthening through your bones and your joints. So let's just keep going to the end. So you could do this workout daily. You could even do it in the morning, later on in the day. And also if you wanna make it 20 minute, you can simply just rewind to the beginning and repeat. All right, well done. So what I want you to do now is just keep marching for me. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, because we just want to complete those 10 minutes. And then I've got some advice for you at the end of the workout. So let's just keep going. All right, well done. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Just shake out those arms. Let's bring that heart rate down. And definitely if you enjoyed this, please do share it on any social media, sharing free fitness for everyone. There you go, there is your high five. So you've got two options. If there is anywhere that you wanna really focus on strengthening and toning, then I have got my five minute playlist here. Have a scroll through, cause there is literally something for everything. I think the only thing I haven't done is the elbow, but basically everywhere else. Then also, if you've had enough for today, if you've wiped your forehead full of sweat and you wanna rest, then do come and just do a quick stretch with me up here. And well done for today. Remember what you've done is you've invested in your future health and I will see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.